uh here we have uh let me show you what we have today okay uh we have ceramic capacitors most of them are shorted right meaning they are more like a wire they allow um, power from one side to go straight on the other side normally he will have one positive side connected on the other side and then the other side will be ground so in this state if they are shorted like this they allow that sentin power whether it's 19 volts or 5 volts or 3 volts to go straight to to negative to go straight to ground uh the edge they act more like wires if they are shorted okay normally uh working capacitors they don't uh, allow power to pass from one side to another point they don't they don't allow power to to pass okay but if they are shorted they do allow power to go from one point to another point oh anyway uh this is interesting guys uh let's go ahead i've been uh keeping these capacitors all uh, right as you can see i've been keeping them for this video anyway there's one more there's one thing common about these capacitors i'm pretty sure you can see and you can tell what is common about these capacitors let's see even on this one yeah bo even this one as well they see there's something common about these capacitors what about this one yeah bo even this one guys do i have to tell you guys or you can see okay what about this one okay anyway uh I did something on purpose. One of one of these capacitors, it's working. It's working hundred percent. There's nothing wrong. But I will show you. I want you to see the difference between a shorted capacitor and a normal capacitor that is working hundred percent. And I've been saying this on my videos uh, that I can spot shorted capacitors. You can spot shorted capacitors. And uh, lately if you are if you remember very well on my on most of my videos now uh i don't use a power supply to find a shorted capacitor or unless if the short is coming from a mosfet or from a chip but if it's coming from a ceramic capacitors i don't use any dc bench power supply and uh, lately i've been using eyes to spot or to detect shorted capacitors okay it's easy you can see them using your own eyes all right uh, let's go ahead let's check okay guys let's go ahead so what you do it's very 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 simple let's start with this one okay there is no short this one this one is not shorted hope you can see this is how you test okay you touch with one with two props both sides here this one is not shorted at all there's no short all right let's put it aside this one is working 100 percent and i'll do a physical inspection on that working capacitor so that you will see let's continue let's check another one let's test this one it's shorted see zero ohms zero zero ohms it's a straight shot you can see uh, and this is how you check uh, capacitors and this one guys all right you can see check here this capacitor is tracked you can see come on guys you can see it's tracked and uh, yeah it's tracked but on this side it's fine Let's check the other side. I boo, you can see a big track there. You see, it's tracked. All right, and uh, it's shorted. You can hear the meter beeping one way. Let's put this one aside. Uh, let's observe this one. Okay, okay, okay. This one. Uh, 
do you think this one is working or oh, it's shorted uh, let's check let's check let's check this one it's, it's hard to tell and it's working see it's working 100% there's nothing wrong uh, let me show you this capacitor nothing wrong with this capacitor all right let's put this capacitor aside all right let's go ahead let's check this one okay i'm gonna take any random capacitor what about this one ah this one guys is so obvious you can see all the track capacitors i don't know why there's something common about them the first thing is they seem wet you see they seem wet they seem like there's there's liquid somewhere somewhere i think this one is shorted 100 percent let's see hey boy there's a short it's shorted okay this is shorted uh let me show you it. all right shorted let's place it aside let's check another one what about this one okay this one uh, guys come on this one you can see it's shorted you can tell see see the track there there's a big track there as if someone hit at this uh capacitor with a small hammer right there and it's tracked all right it's shorted to ground it's shorted <laughs> i want to say it's shorted to ground even this one there's a big track there uh let's rotate to the cap uh this one is need people who who can see to tell whether it's shorted or not but it's shorted all right let's check the last one uh this one come on guys you can see this one see 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 how bad it's even bent see 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 it's bent 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 bends see the track there it's bends 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 yeah anyway let me check let's test this can't even test this it's hard to test it but it's short set okay uh one more thing I'm gonna pick up any random schematic here. Let's just pick any schematic, just any schematic, okay? Anyway, this is a service guide. Sorry, I picked something wrong. Let's check. Let's check the schematic. Okay, I want to show you the capacitors. Capacitors are everywhere, and I've been saying this. We use capacitors to to smooth or uh, to filter uh to remove unnecessary sound noise ne unnecessary frequencies uh to short ac when we are using any dc machine we, remember when you are using a dc board or dc machine you, you you don't need any ac right so we use capacitors to smooth or to remove ac from from dc all right all right all right check here these are capacitors and uh, one more thing about the capacitors guys come on you can't fail to understand this thing see there is a gap this is a capacitor c76 and uh, above it's five volts and uh, below it's, it's it's ground it's negative guys and you see there's a gap there in between meaning they shouldn't touch there is a gap there is a gap there is a gap okay there's a gap let me pick up a pen i'm not sure if i can use a pen or a highlighter or or anything let me try if i can pick up any tool okay i can't pick up any tools but it doesn't matter i hope you can see i hope you can see here let me show you here there's a gap in between there's a gap in between there meaning uh five volts doesn't touch what it doesn't touch the negative side the ground side okay but all the unnecessary frequencies unnecessary noise 
they go straight to to ground we use capacitors to filter and to smooth uh, the power and to design circuit and to make circuits to be to be stable and uh, so many so many things okay anyway guys this is so easy yeah these are capacitors ceramic capacitors all right and it doesn't matter whether you twist them you can use them um, at any site it doesn't matter they don't have any negative or positive so when you are replacing them you can just place them as you like it doesn't matter they're everywhere and this is a a titanium. I mean, this is a electrolytic capacitor, and these are ceramic capacitors. Anyway, this is it. Uh, I'm done. We are done. The capacitors. All right. Sharp, sharp.